Okay, so I'm up here on top of my farm field and um, I'm gonna go ahead and empty the holding tank. It does have some biodegradable chemical in it, but it's mostly just, uh, mostly just urine, number one. Anyways, um, I just kinda wanted to go through the process of how to actually dump the black water holding tank and a skinny guy camper. So, you may be aware that we offer a fully flushing RV style toilet with a holding tank. And as an option, the absence of that option, there'll be a porta potty. The 6.5, which this camper is, has a relatively large holding tank, 20 gallons. So, that's many, many days of use multiple people. That's really quite convenient because you don't have to deal with it. But the reason we chose um, the macerator style system was really we didn't have a choice but um, as far as making this clean and sanitary and not having to use like a, a typical RV for like four inch RV gravity dump system. Also this will pump quite aggressively through, uh, as long as you use a fairly decent inside diameter garden hose, like a 5 8 you can pump this into a porta potty, an outhouse, a toilet toilet, you can put, actually pump it right on into a, a septic clean out. You have a lot more options with this style because you can pump it up to 40 or 50 feet through a hose like that because it just grinds everything into a slurry and, and pumps it through. So I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate how to do it. Is uh, you know we pull the we pull the gate valve that allows the the, the waste to, to get to the macerator, and then we I'm going to try to do this because I got the other end here. It'll start spraying. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. You can see that it's uh, it's got a fairly aggressive a fairly aggressive pump to it, and uh, yeah, it'll uh, it'll take this. I don't know how full this tank was. It's something we don't have yet. Is a is a uh, tank gauge. The toilet's directly above the tank, so you can just look in there and see how full it is. The in the future, we may look at getting uh, tank gauges, but uh, we're going to go ahead and just pump it through. It was re it was probably relatively full. Um, so I'm going to show you how fast it'll pump through and grind everything up and pump it on out. And uh, yeah, this process is really easy and it's really clean and uh, it could even be, you know, very common in the marine business. But you'll see as it gets to the end there, it'll uh, gonna start to gurgle and cavitate. And uh, I guess what we would, uh, what we, we kind of stole this technology from the marine industry. But uh, yeah, that's that. That's how that's done. Another thing I would do. I, I typically do afterwards is we um, we would go back in and, and flush so we would go back inside and, and run a you know four or five gallons three gallons or so back into the toilet and then go ahead and turn it on again and that'll uh, clean out uh, you know everything in, in the macerator and, and get some nice fresh water in there kind of clean out the hoses um, it's not a bad idea to flush it out after you're done. Anyways, thanks for watching.